Hey guys, it is JMP here. Hopefully I don't have to get some fancy ass intro to put on all my freaking videos, but uh, I've been doing this for a while now, this type of intro, but today, Crucible Tips. Now, I used to do Crucible Tips way back then when nobody freaking did them. I have uh, maybe a couple videos back in like whew, way back when, but uh, they're just simple ass um, Crucible Tips and absolutely nobody used to do them because not many people were that great back then only the og crucible slayers were if you guys want to know the definition on og crucible slayers i'll probably make a video on that let me know but today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my crucible tips learning with jmp the crucible i have a fuck ton of knowledge locked into my head that i really don't share with anybody seriously if you want to kill people in the crucible the right way and you want to feel good about yourself you come to me <laughs> oh man, I mean, I, I, whatever. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's just, uh, I don't know what the hell I was, I was thinking, but whatever. So today, strafe or die, learning with the JMP. So today, some of you guys already know, a lot of you guys probably already know that strafing is a very good damn tactic in the Crucible. And a lot of people don't know how to strafe. You just gotta practice. I personally strafe a fuck ton in the Crucible and it's a very damn good tactic. It throws off your enemy's aim and it makes you win that 1v1 primary gunfight. Now keep in mind, strafing left to right and stuff, really good for, you know, if someone's trying to hard scope you. But if someone actually just uses their, you know, their special and just rushes you, of course, strafing is not going to work. You got to pull out something else or else you're going to end up dying. Now, I know the video is about strafing or dying, but I'm going to give you a fuck ton more tips than just that. So when you're strafing and you don't have that option available to you when you're strafing in the crucible at 1v1 and someone's rushing you with like say for a shotgun, you wanna backpedal. What that basically means is you wanna back the fuck away from that shotgunner and just keep mo you just keep shooting them while you're backing off, shooting them, backing off. And that, that's called backpedaling. You get you can get a lot of people like that, you know, just rushing shotgunners because what they have in mind, some most shotgun rushers is just like when they see you and when they're within range, they're just gonna rush the hell out of you, dude. They're just gonna rush the hell out of you. They're not gonna uh, pull out their primary or anything. Uh, in some cases they will, but uh, in that instance, you do not want to strafe, you wanna backpedal. There's also certain exotics that go good with strafing that make you strafe a lot more efficient. Also, if you guys didn't know, agility. Agility is probably one of the best freaking, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it is the best out of all three, you know, toughness and uh, recovery and uh, I'll say agility is the most useful out of the three. You know, a toughness just gives you extra hit points on some weapons that that shit doesn't matter. Recovery gives you, you know, it makes your recovery faster, which you can go into battle, you know, quicker. Go into every single battle quicker. Agility gives you, it makes you faster. It gives you a shit ton of stuff, dude. It makes you jump higher. It makes you turn a little bit faster. I think that's what it does makes you run a little bit faster. I think that's what it does. It just makes you a lot more agile. And also with my experience in the Crucible, agility, if you have high agility, if you run high agility, for some weird reason, it affects aim assist. I have no clue why. I could be totally wrong, guys, but uh, whenever I have high agility and I'm sniping versus low agility and I'm sniping, for some reason, when I have high agility, Sniping feels a lot more easier. I don't know if, if more agility has something to do with aim assist on snipers or something or overall weapons, but uh, having high agility for some weird freaking reason just boosts your, your, your aim assist. I could be totally wrong, but uh, why do you think you see a lot of, a lot of hunter mains running with snipers? You don't see too many, you know, titans and warlocks with snipers. Most of them are on, on hunters because they already have a default a lot of agility now for some exotics that will boost your chances of uh, better strafing so you can you know outgun those enemies at that 1v1 primary gunfights for the titans the dun marchers are excellent dude i've been using these exotics myself for the past i don't know but uh they're beautiful they're amazing they do so much there's there's so many things in that exotic that uh give you a lot of advantage, dude. Just just take my word on it, they're beautiful. Mida multi-tool is one because it boosts your agility, I think to like the max or something. So Mida multi-tool, very good for strafing. The only exotics for the hunters are the Radiant Stand Machines, but uh, I think they're pretty useless because uh, 
honestly, uh, hunters already have pretty high agility, and I think there's a cap at how much agility you can have. I'm not too exactly sure, but uh, raiding sand machines, uh, if you're running, you know, not that much agility, I think that'll be pretty good for you. But there's a lot more exotics for the hunter that are a shit ton better than the raiding sand machines. Now, for the warlock, I don't think there's any exotics that really increase your speed, so you can, uh, you know, strafe better, but uh, if you're going for an exotic for the Warlock, just go with the Ophidian Aspects. These exotics are just ridiculously overpowered. I mean, they're really good, and uh, yeah. And, uh, or just go with Max Agility so you can strafe a little bit better. Also, weapons that have the perk Lightweight give you 2 plus character agility. That pretty much increases your speed for better, you know, jumping a little bit higher, strafing a little bit faster, left to right and all that stuff. So, uh, 2 plus character agility might seem useless, but, uh, if you're running low agility, that might uh, come in handy, actually. If there isn't any other perk in that tree, that's better. So that is that for the video, guys. Remember, agility. Agility is probably the most important freaking stat for your character. Having high agility just gives you a lot more pluses than, you know, toughness or recovery. Having near max agility or having exotic, which boosts ability, will grant you so many pluses makes you jump higher faster makes you sprint a little bit quicker at least that's what i think makes you turn a little bit faster it just gives you that lightweight feeling and in my experience it boosts aim assist i don't know how it does i could be totally wrong but in my experience of all the freaking time you know the years playing crucible it boosts aim assist i bet you probably didn't know that but guys that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed the video or learned anything in this video Please give it a like. Support is highly appreciated. You know how YouTube is right now. It's absolutely pooping on me. YouTube is just, it's its shitting on me. Like, honestly, it is shitting on me. And I need your guys' support to stay alive. To stay alive on YouTube. Without you guys, without your guys' support, I'd probably already be dead, to be honest. Not in real life, I mean on YouTube. And also let me know if you want to see some more Crucible tips learning with the JMP. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember that I freaking love you. Later. <laughs>